So, I love my wife, though. I really do. And when I heard early on about COVID, uh, they said one of the first symptoms is difficulty swallowing. So I was like, whoa, she's had this for 10 years. Anyway, uh, too soon? Too soon on that? Anyway, we have fun, though. We do. We have fights. We're a you know, married comedy couple, because who needs health insurance? So that was a good idea. And uh, people, they go, oh, you must laugh all the time. We laugh. We laugh a fair amount, but we also have arguments. We have stupid fights, too. We had a fight the other night because I peed in the shower on her leg. But I was, uh, I was just marking my territory. Anyway, uh, the other night she threw a cocktail at me, Molotov. I thought that was a little over the top. And I found out recently, this is another fight we had, I found out recently when I go on the road to perform, she invites the dog up onto the bed. You know, the bounty hunter from cable TV? And that pissed me off. New joke, might keep it. Anyway, last night she said I was suffocating her. I think that's what she said. The pillow was muffling her voice. But, uh, and that joke is brought to you by MyPillow.com. Now, Dr. Phil says if you're arguing with your spouse, which is inevitable, it'll happen to you guys, what happens is you should try to see things from your spouse's point of view. That's what Dr. Phil says. So whenever we have an argument, I put myself in her shoes and her stockings and her bra and her panties and her scrunchie. And when you're standing there wearing stiletto heels, fishnet stockings with an underwire bra and a thong up the crack of your ass, it dawns on you, this is why she's irritable. I get it now. <laughs> Dr. Phil's a genius. Questions? I feel like I'm dominating this conversation. I feel like it's all about me. Yes, what do you have, sir? Take your time. Bring my show to a screeching halt while you dig deep into that marijuana-impaired brain and pull out something. I can't. <laughs> no, I'm, 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 I'm intrigued. What do you have for me, sir? Did you say women are women or women on women? Women on women. I'm getting a chubby just thinking about it right now, sir. I'm, I'm Irish. It's not gonna, like I'm going to put anyone's eye out in the front row. But uh, yeah, that's super hot. Anyway, thank you for that. Now, <laughs> what's making it worse is I'm watching these young ladies eat mozzarella st sticks <laughs> with mozzarella cheese coming off of it as you're talking to me about women on women. I really am getting a boner. It's sad. I'm Irish. It's invisible, but it's there. I could make love to a Cheerio and not break it. That's sad. I, uh, I wouldn't. I'm not a serial rapist. Now, let's move on. A lot of these jokes are time release. May not be funny tonight, but uh, tomorrow you're going to shit your pants, everybody. All right?